morning all. Well, these batteries, thanks. These batteries have had it. Uh, at night they're dropping down to, I don't know, 5 volts or something ridiculous. So they're going to go and I'm going to replace them with the gel batteries. So I've got to remove these uh, fuses, 100 amp fuses, which are between uh, POSNEG on one side and then the connectors on the other. These are actually set up as 24 volt uh, banks. These came out of uh, UPS's, so that's 8 mil on there. Uh, let's get all the nuts and bolts off first. So now these are in pairs and each pair has been stuck together with double-sided sticky foam. So I think the only way I'm going to get these apart is to run a knife down the middle. Let's give that a try. So uh, permission not granted to use a kitchen knife so I've come up with uh, an alternative idea which is a piece of uh, tinned copper wire and a couple of handles and I'm going to try and wire cut it out and that worked really well probably better than a knife would have done actually just ripped through the foam on both sides good right I'll do all the others so there they are eight wonderful 12 volt accumulators and now they're all the right way around so let's stack them up where the old batteries are and I'll just quickly uh, WD all the screws so I stand some chance of getting them out and uh, I'm going to get my big screwdriver so that's good I've been able to uh, wrestle those wires out and the batteries are ready to take off the shelf so six fit on there other projects. Now I've got to think about a way of linking all the positives at the front here and the negatives and I've had a thought. I had this metal strip cut for my garden gate because it was kind of sagging down at the uh, lock end so this tensions it and it, it works, it holds the gate uh, together and of course sensibly when I was getting the guy to cut the strip, I got him to cut two additional strips, so they're in here. So I think I'll cut those strips up and use them as um, connecting strips for these gel batteries. Now of course the uh, terminals are set in. aluminium strip along the outside and then have some sort of stand off there to uh, fix it to those terminals. I'll have to see what I've got. So Class Olsen's 950 piece nut and bolt set to the rescue. Brilliant shot Class Olsen. And uh, we've got bolts in the uh, battery terminals now with washers and standoffs and whatever. So I just need to get a measurement for what's happening a gale out here um, for the distance between these. So I'm going to have a little bit of overhang of this aluminium strip at each end. So I'm going to go for six centimeters at each end, which conveniently works out at 64. So I'll make the strips 640 millimeters long each. So two strips, 640 long. Now I'm going to mark off the uh, points where I'm going to drill holes for the bolts, nine centimeters apart. So let's do that. So I've marked the holes, now I'm just going to center punch them and then uh, drill them out. So there are my two strips all drilled and what I need to do now is just um, probably washer them and put the nuts on and tighten it all up. So that's the batteries uh, all paralleled up. and. Uh, the nuts on and I've put the crop clips on temporarily. Now what's this controller saying? Three, two, thirteen point two. So let's sort the uh, solar panel out. So thirteen point one volts 
Uh, need to wait till the... Uh, <laughs> I just blew the dust off this. Uh, wait till the sun comes back out, see if we can get that up to 13.5. Now I'm just wondering whether that's a permanent enough solution for the crop clips just mounted on the uh, tops of these bars. I was planning to coil the end of the bars around a little bit to create a sort of lump, but uh, I'm not sure, that might work. And then at the other end the uh, output from the charge controllers is hooked onto those. Should be alright. So what have we got? Six of these things and they are 17 amp hours each. So 317 to 51, so it's 102 amp hours. So that's a 100 amp hour battery stack. Now I did used to have this uh, white board over the batteries to uh, protect them mainly from sun really, um, but also from rain. So I'll put um, cable ties up onto the uh, shelf supports up the top there. It's a bit wide, so I'm just going to cut that down a bit. So that's the uh, lid fitted on with a couple of cable ties, and now that keeps the worst of the sun off and the worst of the rain off. Doesn't entirely cover it, but uh, it probably helps a bit. So that's it, finished. My new gel battery stack. The old batteries can all go down to the recycling. And now, once again, I've got uh, 12 volts on my desk, and uh, so I can charge my inner loops.